All my sorrows stem from the fact that I see how insignificant my talent is. These were the words of Honoré de Balzac. And today we're talking about this great French author. We all know or at least heard about Balzac, but how much do we actually know about him? Balzac expanded the framework of the novel and by being one of the main founders of the realistic and naturalistic currents of literature, showed the new paths along which he walked in many respects until the beginning of the 20th century. His main view is purely naturalistic. He looks at every phenomenon as the result and interaction of known conditions and known environments. According to this, Balzac's novels are not only an image of individual characters, but also a picture of the entire modern society with the main forces that governed it. The general pursuit of the blessings of the life, the first for profit, position in the world with all the various struggles of large and small passions. At the same time, he reveals to the reader the entire behind-the-scenes side of this movement in the smallest details, which gives his books the character of a topical reality. When outlining the characters, he highlights mostly the one main prevailing feature. For Balzac, every person is nothing more than some kind of passion which is served by reason and which are opposed by circumstances. And thanks to this, his heroes receive extraordinary relief and brightness. And many of them have become a common nouns, like the heroes of Moliere. For example, Grande became synonymous with miserliness and Goriot with paternal love and many others. Women occupy a large place in his novels. For all his merciless realism, he always puts women on a stand. Woman always stands above her surroundings. And she is usually a victim of man's egoism. His favorite type is a woman of 30 to 40 years old, also known as a Balzac's age woman. Physiology of Marriage, written in 1829, Balzac's first novel which had a resounding success and put him out of the midst of other aspiring writers. Since then, his fame has been growing continuously. In the same year, he published four more novels. And in the following year, 11 novels, such as A Woman of 30, Gobsek, etc. In 1831, eight novels were written, including The Country Doctor. More than once, Balzac was tempted by the role of a politician. In 1832, for example, he put forward his candidacy for deputy and on this occasion expressed in one private letter the following program. Ending of all nobility, with the exception of the House of Peers, separation of the clergy from Rome, natural borders of France, complete equality of the middle class, and obviously education for all. Having lost the election, he took up literature with renewed energy. And in 1832, 11 novels were published, among others, Louise Lambert, The Deserted Woman, Colonel Chambert, and others. At the beginning of 1833, Balzac entered into correspondence with Countess Ganskaya. And from this correspondence, a feelings began which lasted for 17 years and ended in marriage a few months before the death of the novelist. During these 17 years, Balzac continued to work tirelessly. And in addition to novels, he wrote various articles in magazines and in 1835 he even began to publish the magazine called Chronicles of Paris. And this edition lasted over a year and resulted in a author's depth of 50,000 francs. Between 1833 and 1838, Balzac published 26 stories and novels, among them Eugenie Grandet, Father Goriot, Serafina, 
The Lily of the Valley, Lost Illusions and many, many others. In August 1843, Balzac went to St. Petersburg for two months where Mrs. Ganskaya was at that time and her husband owned vast estates in Ukraine. Between 1839 and 1847, 28 new novels appeared in print. The second trip to Russia turned out to be a fatal for him. His body was exhausted by overwork. The harsh climate also had a detrimental effect on him and hindered his recovery. Finally, on March 14, 1850, the marriage of the Countess Ganska with Balzac took place in Berdichev. And in April, couple left Russia for Paris, where they settled in a small hotel bought by Balzac several years earlier. The novelist's health deteriorated on August 18th of 1850, after a severe 34-hour agony, he died. But I would like to finish this short introduction with near to anecdotal story when one night a thief entered Balzac's apartment and began picking the lock in his desk drawer. And suddenly loud laughter rang out from the darkness. Oh my dear, you are wasting yourself trying to find in the night what I cannot find even in the daylight that Balzac said from his bed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos and have a very nice evening, have a very nice day and see you very soon in a next video.